Hello, welcome back. Previously, we have been working on a login system that used cookies, and for this next couple of videos, we're going to do a login system that relies on sessions, okay, or session variables. Uh, the vibe with sessions is pretty much the same as cookies. I mean, the general concept's the same. Now, I'm going to head over to the Code Igniter user guide here and uh, I'm going to give you a confession. I'm slightly nervous about this video because uh, there's a couple of things that concern me. One is it's saying that Code Igniter 3 has a completely rewritten session library um, and there's a couple of things that are kind of strange. It does not mention whether or not we need to set an encryption key. Previously, on other versions of Code Igniter, we did. So anyway, who cares? Let's just wing it, and together we'll make it through this stuff. Is that cool? Once we have the basic thing working, we don't need to look at this again, okay? So let's do this together, and hopefully everything will be cool. I'm going to start off by closing all of this rubbish, because that was failed tests before I switched on actually. None of it worked. And I'm going to open up site security, I'm going to make up a little thing called test. I'm going to say length equals 32, and then I'm going to say echo this generate random string of that length, okay? So if we now go to site security forward slash test, we have this 32 digit random string. You can refresh and it'll even change, you know? So let's grab that and then we're going to open up config.php and we'll scroll down to until we find a thing called config encryption key. It's around about line 317 and we're going to paste that stuff in, okay? Now, I'm actually not even sure if that gets used with the session class. I mean, I don't know and I haven't, I have not had time to go through the code, but we will probably use the encryption class at some point anyway, so there's no harm in doing this, okay? So let's chuck in an encryption key, thank you very much, it's gonna be just fine. Next, I'm gonna scroll down to where it says config ses or ses driver, and where it says files, I'm going to say database, okay? And then, uh, something else I'm going to do, and I need to refer to some notes here. Um, where we have, you can see what I'm reading here, where we have this sesh save path, let's change that from null to CI. Now, is that CI sessions? That doesn't make sense to me. Hold on. On the Code Igniter user guide, there is some SQL code that we need to set up a table. And I've completely lost it, but I'm going to find it in a second. Ah, here we go. CI sessions plural. Okay, so there is no typo, right? The sesh save path is indeed CI sessions, okay? That's your vibe right there. So we're changing the driver to database, we're changing the save path to CI sessions. Now I'm going to go in to PHP my admin, go to the SQL section and I'm going to paste in the code that's going to create the CI sessions table. Here we go. Okay, that's pretty good. Thank you very much. We now have a table called CI sessions and hopefully the config is okay as well. So now I'm going to open up your account .php and I'm going to test this thing, okay? So I'm going to do function test1 and I'm just going to borrow some code here from the user guide. Uh, something like adding session data and I'm going to do something like that. I'll copy that in. I'll do that, and we'll have this one that's called your name, okay, and I'll change this from some name to your name, okay, so your name, oh sorry, we don't need equals, we just need this session data set, your name equals, and we'll chuck in a little variable called your name, so let's go old school, we'll do a variable at the top, your name equals, right, chuck your name in, and then we'll just write on the screen, echo the session variable was set. 
That's all we're going to do, folks, okay? So it's a basic setting of the session variable. Let's give it a try. And so far, so good. Let's have a look at the table. And as you can see, the table, which is our server actually, appears to be remembering some stuff. And that is not too bad. The ID is a bit strange, but hey, you know, that's just their, their SQL, so who am I to mess? So this is kind of looking quite good, and I'm pleasantly surprised because I, I tried a test before coming on and it never worked, but I think we've nailed it this time. So let's do some other cool stuff. I'm going to build a function called test2, and this one is going to try and read or retrieve the session data, okay? So I'm going to use this code here. There's a few different ways you can write the syntax. I'm going to say your name equals uh, this session user data, your name, and then I'm going to uh, do an if statement actually, and I'll say if your name does not equal nothing, then echo h1 hello your name and we'll close off the h1 tags, okay? Underneath that, I'm going to say echo no session variable has been set for your name. Okay, pretty simple. I'm going to do one more test thing, test 3, and this one is going to destroy or unset a session, the, the session variable, okay? So we can, there is actually a thing where we can do session destroy and destroy all of the session variables, but I'm going to be a bit more graceful and I'm going to just use unset, okay? So that's what the code looks like. It's your name and we'll just put on the screen, echo the session variable was unset. Right, now let's bring this page to life. Here's what we're going to do. I want you to echo a horizontal row and then I want you to do echo anchor and we're going to do three of these. The first one is going to say set the session variable, okay? And by the way, that's going to go to test one, okay? That's your vibe. Thank you very much indeed. Let's do a dot br so that it's a new line, okay? And then we're going to have test two and test two is going to get the session variable or display the session variable, okay? And test three is gonna be unset or some might say destroy the session variable. I forgot to say your account, uh, your account here, so it would be your account forward slash, right? Excellent. So this vibe where we've got all of this stuff going on, let's copy that and we'll take it out of test three. We don't need a link to test three if we're on test three. I'm gonna paste it into test two, but I'm removing the test two vibe, thank you very much. I'm pasting into test one, and I am removing the test one vibe. Thank you very much indeed. So now, folks, this is the grand test. Are you ready to rock and roll? Let's do this. Refresh. So, the session variable was set, get or display the session variable. Here we go. Hello, David. Thank you very much. That looks fantastic, Ola. Now, I'm going to destroy, ignore my little typo there, folks, destroy the session variable. Here we go. The session variable was unset. Now, I'm going to try and display the session variable. And look, no session variable has been set for your name. That is perfect, okay? So we can set it. We can get it. We can open up a new tab. And we're still going to get the session variable. We can destroy it. We can try and get it. It ain't going to work. So we can set it. We can get it. And then we can destroy it. So thank you very much, folks. This is nailed. And on the next video, we're going to put this all together. Oh, now hold on, hold on, just before you go, very quickly, please hang about another half minute because I do have some good news, especially for some of you more experienced Code Igniter people. You know, there was a vibe in the past where the sessions stuff that came with Code Igniter 
had a little bug. And the bug went like this. If you set a session variable, and then you displayed a session variable, it says, hello David, and then you destroyed the session variable, and then you hit the back button. Folks, on previous versions of CodeIgniter, it would say, hello David. And the only way you could get rid of that would be if you actually hit the refresh button. Now this was a bug that really irritated some of us and many of us had to download a thing called Native Session and we would set that up and it would be a complete pain in the neck. However, check this. Set the session variable, display it, I'm going to destroy it, now I'm going to hit the back button and look at that, no session variable has been set. folks. That is a revolution, and maybe this rewrite hasn't been so bad after all. This is really good, and I'm very excited about that, so I wanted to, to uh, just share that with you. Okay, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.